for the next example, I have hypothetically set things up. So somebody told me on the first business day of 2009, I will buy you 10 shares of Google or an appropriate number of shares of Microsoft or Apple stock. Look at what happens to the stock. Figure out which was the best investment as you go through. Well, again, I'm going to start by showing formulas. 10 shares. The number of shares of Microsoft should be 10 shares times however much 10 shares of Google costs divided by the price of Microsoft. Similarly for Apple, when I'm looking at the change, it's going to be the change from the first day to the next day, or first day of the month to the first day of the next month, is going to be the difference in the two values times the number of shares. And so this gives me a basic setup Part of why I like to do formulas, and we're going to look at quick fill, is I want to see how much money I made or lost each month. Well, that's a repetitive computation. So I'm going to show formulas, move it over so I can see the formulas I'm looking at, and I'm going to repeat this many times. I move my cursor over so it's over that little green box drag down, and it's filling in for me. And the last thing is, I'm going to add up all of the amounts of money I made each month to figure out how much I made overall. I go back, uncheck show formulas. I've unchecked show formulas, and we see what happened with each of the shares. And over a two-year period, three-year period, I would have made $3,000 in Google stock, $2,000 in Microsoft stock, and $11,000 in um, Apple stock. The one other thing I can do which is worth noting is I have the same basic setup here except if I remember the formulas from the stock prices, go back and show formulas, those were pretty ugly formulas because I don't know what those things are. And really, I have named concepts, number of shares of Google stock, number of shares of Microsoft stock, and number of shares of Apple stock, that it would make my formulas better if I could use those. And so in this case, I have gone in and changed the name of that, share, that cell. So it shares Goog. This is shares Microsoft and shares Apple. And now when I look at the formula, rather than talking about B dollar sign one, I'm talking about shares Google. Once again, I'm going to show my formulas, drag down, fill in the numbers, and unshow the formulas, but these formulas with named cells are easier formulas to read because B1, when I'm looking at them, I'm saying B4 minus B3, whatever that is, times the number of shares of Google stock. And so a change in the Google close times the number of shares is how much you make on that investment in Google stock. And that gets us through the examples for section 1.3.